It's another episode of Throwback Thursday. This is Javel Roan sharing his parenting childhood cancer experience. Enjoy. We're we're joined by your wife Tivia, and we want to ask you guys now what's happened here is you're homeschooling your children and your your girl Layla is having a rough time this time when you notice something's wrong with her. So run me through what happens. Yeah, so normally, uh, you know, my wife uh, was off to work and then I would wake the children up uh, and they were doing remote learning since COVID had just kind of started in 2020. And, uh, you know, all the girls would come down to eat breakfast and to get ready for class. And I noticed that at breakfast, Layla wasn't there. And I said, where's Layla? They, and my middle daughter said, she's still upstairs. So I went upstairs, check on Layla, and she was just kind of laying there and her face was kind of, you know, uh, a little flush as far as red. And uh, I said, what's, I said, what's going on, Layla? And she said that her hip hurt. And she said, my, my hip hurts, dad. And I was like, your hip? And uh, I was like, well, okay. I was like, did you go to the restroom? She was like, yeah. And then like, uh, she went downstairs and she still just laid on the couch and you really get up. And I noticed she was warm, almost like she had a fever. <clears throat> well, she did have a fever. And then she, I gave her some Tylenol, you know, told her, you know, she'd be fine. She just lay down. And uh, I said, go to the restroom. And she just said it hurt to just stand up. And she just kind of was hunched over. And I was like, what is going on? <clears throat> so later that day, my wife came home. And then uh, she she said, you know, babe, I, you know, let's, let's go get her checked out. And I was like, I think you're right. We should take her to the doctor. All right, so now you take her to the doctor and Tandra, run me through what you're thinking when you're taking her there because the pain and, and it's sort of different and a mother's perspective is always a little different than the father. So what were you thinking? Um, I think I was probably thinking something more of like maybe her appendix or something like that, you know, something that's like a, a quick kind of if it is the problem, something that can be resolved rather like quickly, you know, then then a recovery. Um, so I took her to the, the emergency room and they did scans. Um, and then the doctor comes in and um, she kind of sits there and she sits down and she says, well, it looks like there's a mass. Um, on her right side, left side. And, um, and it, it looks like there's possible internal bleeding. And when oh she my. said internal bleeding, I just like, wait, what? Internal bleeding, like. So she's got a tumor that's internally bleeding is their diagnosis. Right. That's just, that's just over the top. So yeah. now. Kid, kid going crazy right now because can't get in here. You know what? Is that her? Is that Layla? Or is that Logan? No, that's that's our Logan, the youngest. Three-year-old, yeah. He can come in yeah. if he wants. Uh, you got to calm down, buddy. It's fine. Bring him in. Um, He'll be so, good. <laughs> here he is. Say hi. You say hi. He's so, good. <laughs> um, the doctor says it's possible, you know, looks like there's bleeding and there's definitely a mass and we're going to transfer her to Children's Mercy in Kansas City. I'm just like, this just went from a little pain to now it's like, wait, is she like gonna be she, like, is okay. this like a life or death kind of like life changing? She's not coming home. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm and, and, and not, she's not staying there. She's gonna get to a different hospital after what they saw. Right. Oh my goodness. So you, your world is completely rocked here. Right. So, Javel, what are you thinking at this point? Well, I'm, I'm actually at home with the with the other siblings, you know, uh, trying to, you know, keep the keep the peace in the house. And then my wife says we have to drive to Kansas City because they need to rush Layla to uh, Kansas Children's Mercy Hospital because she's bleeding internally. And I'm thinking to myself, what and how did this even happen? Like how and why is this happening? You know, um, OK, so let's um, she, now they're they're taking her to the hospital. 
and you guys are heading over to Kansas City. So you're getting ready to stay over a night or two until she's situated. Now, um, what happened when you guys got there and they started caring for her? Well, it was probably what, well, we didn't get there to maybe one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And then I don't think the ambulance made it to Manhattan until around 11. So it was around one in the morning. We had to drop off our other kiddos to my mother-in-law, his mom. In the middle of the night, they're like completely confused and don't know what's going on. Everything is just kind of shifted and changed. We wow. get to the hospital with COVID restrictions. So like- That got even crazier. Isolated. Yeah. No, <laughs> so they the they checking her for COVID and things like this besides knowing she's got this tumor. Right, yeah. And now that's like when the whole thing sort of gets impersonal. Like she gets treated like, you know, in, in, a, in a, a POW camp type of approach is they you know, they they shift them off to the cooler. They just get different treatment. It's not right. But so how long is she there before um, treatments and so forth start or, or end at that point where she can come home? Well, she was in the hospital for about a week and almost two weeks, so about a week and a half. Um, with scans, I think before she left, she had had one. Why Why she, had, she had one, one procedure before yeah, we left. They just did a one, biopsy. The biopsy. Yeah. Um, you were saying after this, so the 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 um, the scan, the internal bleeding. So they found the cancer. She's diagnosed. Like she she went through twenty five rounds of chemotherapy in seven and a half months. Is that accurate? Well, the thing is, when they did the first biopsy, they um, they were just saying, you know, it's a mass, but we think, you know, it, 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 what really is the issue is the inflammation, right? Like, okay, so they're not they, saying that it's cancer at that point. They're just saying they she's got some sort of a tumor. Right. So then so, when did they find out that it is cancer? It was January of 21. So it was actually inauguration day. It was during the inauguration where we found oh out she had cancer. You just left your mark. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Listen to more episodes on demand. Just click leave your mark with Vince Cortez. If you enjoyed this episode, you'll love the next guest story. Click the link to watch. Have a blessed day.